Hello folks! Welcome back to actually a real wrestling review for a change from a wrestling channel. Yep, a um, couple of very quick news and notes. Eventually, oh I don't know, maybe tomorrow, I have to figure out timing stuff. Put up my little trip to Pond Inlet. I tried to go fishing as you can tell by my color I got. Yeah baby! Went fishing. It's also a Thursday. So it's a, this is an amazing can of beer. And look at that. Blue trailer. Blonde ale. That is your typical Florida woman, I think. Yeah. Well, where was I going? Yep, so I'll be making another somewhat fishing video. I didn't catch any fish this time. I'll get into that a little bit later. Got some good pictures, though, some videos of some wildlife. So, yeah, all, all, all you nature bush hippies out there. Yep, here for that. But I'm not here to talk about that. You know what? Before we start my video, hit my... That's good. And eventually we're going to be seeing the movies more because the governor said that movies are now tax-free for one whole month. I have a date to go on movies with, so that's good. But most importantly... Time to talk about Forbidden Door. You know what should be forbidden? Pants. Pants should be for... Underwear should be forbidden? You guys did not see that. Yep. Let's talk about the Forbidden Door. Let's see here. Let me do the typical match count. So I will not be seeing this because I am working on Sunday. I'm been closing a lot on Sundays. They must think I do something good, which isn't necessarily the truth. One, two, three, four. Eight known matches as of when I made this list probably two days ago. So yeah, I'll just go by this, um, give you my predictions, tell you what match to snooze through, what's going to be the match of the night. And what is a stone cold lock? Oh, geez, that's easy. So let me do a little notes here. Oh, also, um, I do not know if I'm being let go of my racetrack position. I received an email from them saying that I, I was terminated. I have not heard from them because shh, I still have their shirt, their jacket, and an escalator key. And I'll be honest, I am in no rush after they sent me such an impersonal letting go notice that unless they call on my actual phone yes folks this is a landline i have the whole thing can i bring this over here yeah see yep it's all set up once they do that i probably have some souvenirs it should go up on ebay send me money but yeah um let's talk about forbidden door so let's start off with my stone cold lock of the night. We have MJF Maxwell Jacob Friedman versus Hechichero from, I forget if it's CML or AAA. I kind of forget. But yeah, MJF's not losing in his first match on a pay per view back. MJF wins. Bet. All the money on that. Then we have Zack Saber Jr. versus Orange Cassidy. Yeah, Zack Saber Jr. is winning. Orange Cassidy is nowhere near the level of Zack Saber Jr. Um, he's probably going to frustrate Zack Saber Jr. a bit. Yeah, Zack Saber Jr. is winning. Then we have Brian Danielson versus Shingo Takagi. I don't know. Brian Danielson, I think, needs a win. He's been beat up a lot. I mean, he might put him over. 
I'll just say Brian Danielson wins. I'm a, in the women's championship. Oh, which one's that? Is that the women's? Yeah. It's too many belts. I forget which one's which. You have Tony Storm versus Mina Shikakaro. Uh, the only thing I'm interested about this match is, is who pops out first. So I think that's what's going to happen. And if Mariah May turns on Tony Storm and Tony Storm goes face, you never know though. Uh, I don't think they're, they're not going to take the belt off Tony Storm anytime soon. Mariah May might turn on her friend Nina Shirakawa. Who knows? This is Tony Khan's booking. It's his show. Tony Storm wins. She retains her championship. We're going to have some kind of ladder match. There was a whole bunch of, bunch of participants listed. I'm going to choose one. And it's going to deviate from my normal choice of Colt Cabana. I say Mark Briscoe. They're going to do him right. And have him win that ladder match. Uh, Mercedes Vermone versus Stephanie Vakur. I have no idea. Someone from New Japan. Um, I don't know. Just I can't see them jobbing out Sasha Banks. But you know what? It's not going to matter. Take a nap through this match. Because that's all you'll need to do. Yeah, Mercedes Monet is going to retain her TBS championship. I think it's champion versus champion. I don't know if belts are online. Who knows? Mercedes Monet wins. Whatever. John Moxley versus Tetsuya Naito. This is an interesting match. The thing is, Naito's knees are not what they used to be. It should be a good match. It could be. A typical 60-minute New Japan pro wrestling match, which kind of worries me. Naito could go 60 minutes and make it interesting. John Moxley can't, though. Um, John Moxley is a 15-minute machine. But, yeah, half an hour, even a half an hour is pushing his limits. So, yeah. Tatsuya and Naito is going to win. They have to kiss up a little bit to New Japan because everyone else loses in New Japan to everyone. So, yeah, Tatsuya and Naito gains the New Japan heavyweight belt. Probably a nice being farewell for him and more so his knees. Yeah, the New Japan style, even though they wrestle fewer dates, it's brutal in-ring stuff. And then... My match of the night. You have in this corner the challenger from somewhere across the pond, Will Osprey. Osprey. And the champion in this corner from the United States of America, USA, USA. We have Swerve Strickland. Strickland. I don't know. They might pull the trigger. I never saw Swerve Strickland as a, as a transitional champion. MJF versus Will Osprey, especially coming up. Oh, they could do that without the belt. Huh. Swerve Strickland doesn't feel like a transitional champion. Will Osprey doesn't feel like a champion yet. 
They just signed him. Him going into England as champion is intriguing. And I don't know if the people would cheer or boo MJF. So MJF is the heel people love to cheer for because he's the embodiment of a heel because he's just better than you and you know that. I'm torn about this one. I say Will Offspring's going to win. I'm going to buck the trend. Swerve Strickland did get his time in the sun for a while. I never felt that he was champion material. I have no idea what they'll do with him, though. Which seems to be the major focus as to what everyone else thinks about AEW. Like, well, what are they going to do with all these people? What are they going to do? To, to phrase the late, great Donald Sutherland from Oddball. Because remember... A hero is some kind of weird sandwich. Especially if you're from New York. So yeah. That's for a bit indoors as far as I know. I have no idea. Um, look forward to some more videos coming out. Again, we have July... F oh, I do have the July 4th video to make. Do I have that card ready? I honestly forget. So yeah. We'll see. So I have the July 4th. Where's my count? There we go. I have trip video. July 4th. Probably July 4th special. Because I do need more fireworks. Fireworks are good. Um, what else? Despicable Me 4. My lady friend wants to see. So I'm going to go see that couple other movies I know in August they have Borderlands which is a movie I want to see so other than that I hope you guys are enjoying all the varied content I'm putting out I'm trying to diversify like any good person should